Father, please don't leave. It's dark. The witch could be hiding in here. Don't do this. I'm sorry if I have sinned. I didn't mean to. Please. My old nightstand. Mother said they threw it away. There's a matchbox inside the drawer. I can now try to light up the room. Hey! Where are you? Mother! I'm in the basement! For God's sake, go get seen in that place. Get out immediately! I'm still waiting to hear the prayer, son. What are you waiting for? You put in there? Why would you do that, Yoda? It's his behavior that did that to him. He was good all day. He helped me with the wheat and the food and... And he talked to a kid at the funeral. When did this happen? I, 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 I didn't see him. Of course you didn't. Because you don't care of this family. I do. I should lock you all downstairs. You all need to learn. Where is she? Where is our daughter? There are at least a dozen matches inside the box. <laughs> help! Mother! Help me! Silly, what are you doing? It's me. I I'm sorry. <laughs> How many times? Why are you here? I heard father talking to himself before going to get you in. But why? You know he's going to because I've promised I wouldn't let you be alone in the dark again. You never break a promise, I know. You're wrong. Father would never lie to us. About what now? About the witch that cursed our bloodline. He's just trying to scare us with story. And today you did wrong. So he punished you by locking you down here in the dark. What did I do? I, I still don't understand. You talked to that tall boy. Don't you remember? I thought that meant we must avoid adults. How am I supposed to- Mother said we have each other in God. She's right. I can't forget our aunt's white face. Me neither. She looks so different. Her head with The curse did that to her. Don't be ridiculous. She's at peace now. That's all that matters. I hope she is. Your aunt was once such a beautiful woman, full of life, but her fate was nothing more than a Sunday morning rite. Evil is everywhere, my dear children. It is hiding in- Father, please forgive! You should look up to your sister. Unlike you, she values- It's my fault he went to talk to that boy. I ignored him because I was looking into the- You must learn to be alone with God. You must learn. You o I beg you, 
you. Don't hurt him anymore. <sighs> oh. Uh, it was just a dream. I often think about that peculiar day. But I've never relived it so vividly in my dream. I... I need my glasses. I can't even think without them. The fabric is full of moth-eaten holes, though too small for my glasses. The fabric is full. Nothing here except a thick layer of dust. Ah, here they are. Fallen to the floor, but still intact. Thinking of the dream I had, I don't remember going to sleep at all. We came in, and then... We came in, Victoria and Nikolai went upstairs to prepare for the castle, and then... nothing. I must have fainted. I have to talk to Victoria at... cold black fireplace that hasn't been used in ages. The same feeling I'm getting from the rest of the house. Looking at it makes me uneasy. Codex Neva, heart of Pagubi. Nikolai? Yes, Benedict? Where's Victoria? I don't know. Do you have the slightest idea why Victoria rented this dreary house? I don't even know how she found it. Looks like the owner is some kind of artist. Or is at least convinced to be. I agree. I've never seen so many masks in my life. That's a strange painting. It is. Take a better look at- Why? Please. Do as I say. That is not a mere shadow. It's a symbol of darkness, of mean eyes at the edge of a wicked soul. A snake-like mouth implies a man who cannot be trusted. At the Do you have the slightest- I don't look I- I've taken a closer look at the painting. You don't recognize- I've never seen him before. And- Nothing happened. Why would anything happen to me? Last night, after your sister and I came upstairs, she was... I wonder. Yesterday, when we boarded... The... Just the three of us. But once the train left Budapest, wasn't there a man who came in? By placing the sign, Do Not Disturb, on our doorknob, I made sure this wouldn't happen. The only time that door opened was when the conductor peered in to tell... You haven't answered. Why would anything happen to me? What's wrong with this painting? I don't know yet. Please, just follow me as I go over yesterday's events. I'll get to the point. And when we left the train station, no one... Notice whom? Your dear wife was over the moon to have finally arrived. She couldn't stop talking about the place, but said nothing about anyone following us. Right. And on our... There was a strange ritual taking place. And what about the mass of hooded people that gathered there? It was a dreadful scene. I remember the goosebumps when hearing the crowd pray as one voice, though. Let me tell you what happened after that. We found the path which led us to this house. 
What happened when Victoria knocked? Well, we realized the door was actually ajar. And the owner wasn't here. Just silence. Dead awful silence. Uh, it gave me chills. Once we entered the house, what did you and your wife do? I said it before. We went upstairs to prepare for the castle exhibition. Leaving me to wander alone downstairs in complete darkness. You found nothing odd about the house being... I did, but Victoria said it's nothing to worry about. So I just followed her. We never went to the castle? You don't remember? The last thing I remember is searching for a light. And then nothing. What do you mean? I mean, everything after was only a dream. Victoria dragged me into this town to make me attend that piddling exhibition in the castle. We never went there, did we? Which means I left the monastery only to spend a horrible night in this house. We both fell into an inexplicable void. <sighs> Tell me what happened last night. What's wrong with this painting? And where's Victoria? I'm afraid I don't have the answers. What happened is that while I was waiting for her to get ready, my attention was drawn by this painting. Next moment, I was seeing myself relive yesterday's event. The whole time? He was in our cabin, and he was that gigantic effigy. Shortly afterwards, he emerged from the crowd in human form again. Once we got here, he jumped on my back and asked me to carry him upstairs. Carrying this being on your back must have some weird... He was holding so tightly that I could feel his long and sharp... F After we finally got upstairs, I was so upset and in pain that I quickly turned around to reprimand him and instead saw a human-sized crow with no eye. It croaked at me and then soared inside. That was the moment I woke on the bed, fully dressed. Why did you ask me all those strange questions about yesterday? Startlingly real, just like my own dream. We should leave this accursed house at once. After I woke, I noticed Victoria didn't even sleep on this bed. I found only you, still asleep on the couch. We have to force our way out of here because we don't have the key. I've already searched this floor for a key and tried to open the balcony door. What about the window? Strangely enough, or maybe for a good reason, they are made in a way. Stay here and give it a second look. Whatever you can find, force should be our last resort to leave. Or maybe we get lucky. Let's hurry up then. Just don't look at the man in the paint. I need light. A yellow blanket, wrinkled only on... It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hang... A giant bowl made out of clay. All I see here is a lonely coat rack. If we don't find a civilized way to get out of here soon, this rack could come in. If we don't. I'm pretty sure it's not locked. Not sure what's the cause, because both. It's written in an ancient alphabet, which I don't know. Could this be the... I should stay on this floor and try to find a way out of here. A 
giant. It looks like mud. It has a. If I could push it back with a stick or something similar, I might be able to open the door. Codex Neva. Forgive me, God. I should contemplate more about this decision. I didn't notice this painting in the dark last night. I don't like the look of this woman. It's driving me mad. I don't need that. My eyes fare better in the dark. It's locked. It doesn't look inviting, but I think I see something in there. I should stay on this floor. It could... Push it back with a stick or something similar, I might be able to open the door. If I didn't come here, thoughts like this would never cross my mind. I dare not to try this. I dare not to try this. A yellow blanket, wrinkled only on one side of the bed. It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches. That's a strange notion.